What's up guys, Glock9 here with another 7 Days to Die video. We are on day 77. I've got a little build that I made here in the Old West Town. Uh, we made a little base out of the water tower. And uh, it was pretty simple. Here's the Old West Town. It's just southeast on the map. Uh, there's Dyersville up there. And uh, yeah, it's cool. It's a cool town. I love, I love it down here. The only thing that sucks is the overheating is, can get really annoying. I did something that helps a little bit. I'll show you in a sec. But basically all I did was add those trussle blocks around there and then destroy a bunch of stuff and upgrade a bunch of stuff. So it wasn't very difficult to build. I did build this uh, little walkway over from this building over here. I've got a workbench. I did a little bit of upgrading in this building. Not too much. Uh, I do have some storage up here. Uh, I've got some storage right there. I've got my cement mixer. I've got a forge and a fire pit up here. I've got a way to access the roof of this building, but uh, no reason to do that right now. Uh, I can use this catwalk right over here to the books building, and uh, that can take me up to the roof. This takes me over to the uh, watchtower or water tower. Now it's a watchtower. Go down here to the first level of the bookstore, which there is no way to get to that second level. I had to bust open the floor and put the ladder there. But uh, not much in the way of uh, fortified this building is yet, because basically I'm going to be staying on the watchtower the, uh, all night. But up here, <laughs> let me show you, I made myself a little pool, uh, which I can jump in, go underwater. And this helps out with overheating, because pff, let me tell you, it sucks down here, uh, trying to, especially trying to build something. Um, you just overheat so quickly. I mean, you can literally overheat just standing there uh, naked. You know, standing there in your underwear, you overheat, which is... Uh, shitty. So that little pool helps me to cool down uh, really quick if I need to. Uh, so this is a cool part of the base. I knocked out this part of the pillar so I can jump down, crouch, and I've got a full 360 degree view of the zombies. This is where I'll probably start off the horde night. And uh, just depending on how it goes, uh, I don't know how long I'll stay down there. I could always jump over here and shoot down through the trussle blocks. And uh, pretty simple. And uh, like I said, a pretty easy build. It was basically just upgrading a bunch of stuff. Uh, I, built, I, I put this these bars here just in case zombies find their way up here. I don't think they will. And I've got a little ramp there. I could, well, I'm supposed to <laughs> be able to. I know I can make the jump. I've done it. There you go. So you can make that jump, but it's not the easiest thing. I think I need to fix this. Because, like, look. <laughs> See, I should be able to do that every time. And it's, uh, yeah, it's a pain in the ass. I think I need to fix this because, like, in the heat of the moment, see, like, the jump can be made, but, you know, in the heat of the moment, if I need to make that jump in order to survive, <laughs> it would suck if I don't. So I'm not going to count on that, but uh, I thought that was a cool way to, to get to the um, the other rooftop of the books building really quick. So that's it. I think it's going to work out just fine. Um, so let's get on with the Horde Knight and see how it does. All right, here we go. Drop down here. It's kind of a little bit pain in the ass, but start off here and see how crazy it gets. Here we go. Sniper rifle is definitely my favorite gun in this game. It's so satisfying to just take their heads off with one shot. Now, I got Cop Zombies two Horde Knights back, I believe. Was it two? Or the last Horde Knight? Um, but other than that, I haven't really seen them. So, we'll see. If they show up tonight, then I will just focus all of my power on, on them until they're, they're dead. And hopefully they don't explode and do too much damage to this, uh, this little base. So just keep popping off with this. I got about, uh, I think, 200 rounds. What do I have? Yeah, about 200 rounds of this. Um, I've got a little over 200 crossbow bolts and about 200 rounds of magnum also. Without a shotgun or an AK, one thing I definitely do not want to do is accidentally fall down to ground level because a magnum and a sniper rifle and a crossbow are, are not great weapons for up close and personal, you know. Uh, AK is usually always good to have. I just, uh, I do have one. It needs to be repaired. But, uh, I figure this is good. This will be fine. I don't, I don't see myself, uh, 
getting in too much trouble here. Look at this. Just destroying them. So let's get out of here. It's going to be a little bit of a pain in the ass. you got to kind of jump and use, use that ladder. Turn on the light. So other than there being a lot of them, uh, I don't I don't foresee any problems at this point. It's working out pretty well. I mean, even if they even if they get through the the barbed wire and the spikes and start working on the concrete floor of this base, um, there's five pillars holding me up. Uh, I don't I I don't. There's no way they're gonna destroy. It. Oh shit! They're up here. Okay, this could so this could cause a little bit of a problem if they take out this this middle pillar. Last thing I want to do is be standing on this thing if they take the bottom of it out. So let me get a couple more shots off and see if I can get to a point where I can see down below where I am right now. If I come over here, there we go. Get a good look over there. Okay, so they're, they're doing some damage to that pillar. Not too much. I think I'll be all right, but... Probably avoid standing on that from now on since they seem to be getting up getting up there fairly easy. I basically just got a lot of crawlers right now. From up here you can get a pretty good look down at the zombies right below. It's not bad. Overall I, I really like this setup. It's working out well. And it was really easy to do. Like I said, this is just the watchtower down to the old west town. Um the platform, the uh, the pillars, everything is already was already there. I didn't really build anything other than putting the trussle blocks around the edges, and uh, of course the log spikes and barbed wire, and of course this walkway here over to the bookstore. Other than that, basically I just did a little bit of demo work, and then laid in the uh, log spikes, the barbed wire. Oh, and I lied, I did a little bit of modification with that center pillar. I took out the top one, put in the hatch, so I can jump down and have that 360 degree view. Um, which which is great, except the uh, the zombies got up there and were threatening to uh, take that pillar out. So probably should have thought about something. Should, should have thought about that. The zombies getting past the two rows of spikes and the barbed wire and getting up onto that platform and starting to attack the pillars. Should have put more thought into that. Maybe should have put some spikes up on that platform surrounding the pillars to protect them a little bit better. But uh, that's that's a pretty quick easy fix that I can make if I'm going to use this uh, little base here to hold down another horde. Where is that guy? There he is. I heard him. Oh, oh man, he got messed up. Alright, so I'm starting to overheat, so I couldn't make that jump. God damn it. Uh, we're going to head up to the pool. I don't think there's any zombies around right now. Let's drink some yucca juice. And, uh, get under the water here. Chill for a sec. And that brings our temperature right down, so... Definitely a good thing to have if you're going to be building something in the south. Alright, it's been quiet for a while now. So many bodies down there. I'm just going to get down there and start raiding some of these bodies. I know I said I wasn't going to do this because I don't have an AK or a shotgun on me. You know, and a magnum and a... Sniper rifle aren't the best up close and personal guns, but whatever. If we get any zombies, it'll just be one or two stragglers. Pro Here we go, right? Here's one right now. As long as I see them coming, Magnum does a good job. Oh, here one. Oh, damn. Oh shit, look at this, uh, this hole they made. Damn, they were digging underneath this place. How far did they go? Oh shit. Oh man, I didn't even think about this. I definitely did not anticipate them digging underneath the base. Yeah, I mean, this side took the majority of the damage. Look at this right here. This is another opening. We get under here. 
<laughs> oh shit. Oh man. Well, lesson learned there for sure. I mean, I I could have totally prevented that if I saw it coming. You know, I could have before I put the the log spikes in, I could have dug down a little bit, reinforced the bottom, and then uh, instead of leaving the ground around the watchtower, you know, dirt or whatever, I could have taken that out and and put some concrete floors around that sat the log spikes on top of that so we'll just go ahead and, and repair these columns for now and then I'll finish raiding the bodies and that's about it um, I could start repairing this this place but uh, the repairs here won't take very long and I don't think I'm going to be using this for the next horde night I've got another idea in mind so um, stick around for the next video thanks so much for the support thanks so much for watching I really appreciate it guys uh, you can follow me on Twitter or Instagram it's at Glock 9 Gamer I try to follow all gamers back and, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed that video. I will catch you guys in the next one.